when we stimulate their right antenna, they think that there is an obstacle to their right and it makes them turn left. When we stimulate both their antenna, they think there is an obstacle just up ahead and they stop. And we call them biobots. We try to promote the understanding that uh, actually when you see a cockroach around, before uh, you try to kill it, uh, you can remember that it may save your life. We use the technologies used for neural engineering, basically the stuff that is used for building cardiac pacemakers. We implant these to insects and we try to control their locomotion. They are moving about on their free will and we are just nudging them in appropriate locations of our interest. The ultimate goal that we have is to collaborate with them to search for uh, victims after natural disasters. So the eventual idea would be to send in a swarm of a working insect biobots inside a search and rescue area. Equipped with electronic backpacks and unidirectional microphone array, we can pinpoint location of a sound source. For example, a victim crying out for help. You can direct biobots to an um, area where a victim is crying out for help and the location information can be sent to first responders who can then go and rescue the victim. Cockroaches in general uh, navigate with their antenna. It senses obstacles, predators, and so on and so forth. That information is transferred to electrical signals, which is passed on to their brain. We are hacking into that medium. In addition to controlling cockroaches, we also try to control of aerial insects, moths in this particular case. As engineers, we are actually amazed at by how wonderful the insects are. So we are, when we are working with them, we make sure that all ethical standards are maintained. Most of the time, we look at insects as pests. These are some beautiful creations. Hopefully, the insect biobot platform will one day be used in a search and rescue scenario. If it does, it will greatly help first responders.